I didn't know what I'm doing with the trailer. Yesterday, when it was snowing, we went into uh, into the city to pick up, well, actually to pick up that stuff and a zero-turn mower. Uh, on no way back, I noticed when I was looking in my mirrors, I'm scanning the mirrors all the time, all the, the lights, the marker lights, the ID lights, they were all out. The, uh, the fender lights were out. So I was like, oh crap, don't tell me I lost everything. So I called my, my wife, she was following me. And I asked her, can she see my brake lights on my four ways? I hit the fours. She said, yes, they, they're working. So I was like, okay. So I just lost the the, uh, the running lights. So I'm going to check to see if a fuse is blown. I'm thinking a fuse on the tow vehicle is blown. Uh, I have my jumper boxes. I'm charging it up. To uh, put some more air in the driver's, well, on the left side tire of the trailer because yesterday I picked up a screw also. I just plugged it. So I just got to actually just bring the air pressure up on both tires, actually. In any event, I digress. This trailer, we bought this trailer brand new. All the lights LED except the uh, license plate. Actually, no, the license plate lamp was an LED. So I, I take that back. All the lights, LED. We had the upgraded package, uh, the, the deluxe trailer. Uh, everything was going good until one of this light actually. The ground got loose. They actually screwed the ground. Is they put the the ring terminal on the plywood, use a self-tapping screw into the the angle iron that makes up makes up the sides, makes up the studs. So of course it's self-tapping. It's like it's like a nut and bolt or something like that. It's self-tapping onto plywood. Over time, the plywood is going to compress. So the ring terminal got loose. So of course that created a, a, a short, uh, a source of heat, more resistance. Although it's LED, it caused the fuse to blow. So I removed the 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 veneer that makes up the interior walls on this side fix that i went ahead and fixed the other side just in case because i didn't want the same issue it was set up the same way and i'm pretty sure all the grounds for this trailer sadly are probably the same doggone way uh and that's what caused that fuse to blow so now i'm going to check to see if i blew a fuse for the running lights i'm saying the same thing twice which i sure i'm sure i did and i'm going to replace the fuse if it doesn't blow immediately when I turn the lights on, and I know I have some time to trace, to track down what the issue is, it's probably a bad ground again. So I may have to rewire this entire trailer as far as the 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 running lights, turn signal, brake lights, all of that stuff might have to be completely redone, which will suck. Because again, we bought this trailer brand spanking new. It's a Lennard branded trailer. They don't make the trailer. Uh, they put their their brand on it. The maker of the trailer is actually I have to get any grease on myself. That company right there. They make the trailer. They make a lot of trailers, and a lot of people just put their branding on it and sell it through their network their dealership net, their dealer network yeah that's the tire that was soft when i came up this morning it was down to the ground i left these open so they could dry out that's for solar that's for 110 in look at me rambling again but in any event let me check my fuse and see what's going on it's just as i thought this one right here the 10 10 amp trailer tow it's the second row of fuses you have the top row right there then you have the second row put the fuse down then you have the second row down here it's the one that's to the far end right there it's all the way to the end well that's where it was right there in the second row right there right there on the end that's the same one that blew last time where to put it? Let me... Oh, 
course, to try to zoom in on this thing is going to suck. There we go. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see, but it's blown in there. Because when it blew, it created like a black puff on the plastic. So through the camera, it looks like it's not blown. Maybe if I hold it up like this. All right, you see it? See it's blown? That's supposed to be connected in the middle. Just want to show you what it looks like with the fuse in. That's where it goes right there. You see it? Right down the end. Ten. So now. We're going to go over here. All right. So no lights on. See? Easy to tell. A light right there. And one right there. So now we're going to turn the lights on. I'm hoping this works. It'll buy me some time. Alright, I just ran to Napa to pick up some more fuses because it just the fuse that I installed, I blew it. Uh, believe it or not, what was causing the fuse to blow was the connector right here. There was corrosion on it, especially the ground. The ground is the biggest culprit when it comes to blowing fuses. Because uh, if it's not a it's nice grip ground, it's gonna create heat uh, because of the resistance and now uh, it's gonna blow the fuse. So I cleaned it off, put some uh, some spray on there. I think it was WD-40 or the other electrical connector spray. But in any event, I cleaned it up, put some uh, anti-corrosion stuff on there, and it's not blowing the fuse anymore. I'll show you, see the lights are off. And there we go, we got lights. It's not blowing the fuse anymore. Before, as soon as I turned it on, the fuse would blow. And I thought it was an issue with the wiring again, but it wasn't. It was just, again, the connector needed some maintenance. So that one was on me. 